almost 20 years old and our very first vlog, Paul, how about that? I don't know about you, but that 20 years has just passed in the blink of an eye. But although it's gone so quickly, the business has achieved so much over those 20 years and without doubt has surpassed all of the original expectations. I'm sure you remember, startup team of six is now over 180. First project we carried out, Avisha in Blakely, worth the princely sum of £26,000. And here we are now fitting out the vaccine facility in Oxford, which is worth over 90 million. Turnover will likely achieve over 100 million in the, in the current year. But of course, we can't afford to stand still. We need to kind of build on that success. So we've strengthened the structure now to improve customer service levels. It reflects the size of the business. And more importantly, I think it's going to inject new ideas and energy. So consequently, I'm delighted to confirm that Zeb Ahmed's going to join as CEO in July, supported by yourself in your new position of COO, allowing me to take a broader and more strategic role as executive chairman. I've known Zeb for over 25 years since we worked together at Thermal Transfer, it seems a lifetime ago. Known you a little longer. <laughs> I think that our skills and experiences complement each other really well and that together we make a really strong team. So that's a little bit about the history, but it's about where we go from here now. What do we do now to kind of build on that success? So. Thanks Steve, and uh, once again delighted to be here and back with yourselves after probably a quarter of a century. So the future, what does it hold? First of all, to become the leading and largest turnkey consultant contractor um, in the pharmaceutical, biotech, and life sciences healthcare market with a turnover in excess of £100 million, achieved sustainably and profitably. And the second aspect is the values. Uh, the values of BES, uh, both for our clients and our staff and for myself, a big part of the attraction, um, absolutely and exceptional family values built on honesty, integrity, trust, and the repeat business client base is there for a reason. I think you've been offering pragmatic solutions to clients for the past two decades, and we need to continue and build upon that success. The second aspect is operational capability. Our clients require projects which are more complex, faster, multidisciplinary, process-led. They also at the same time want higher quality and higher levels of value add. So we need to adapt and evolve our capabilities to suit our clients' requirements and the market needs. In addition to that, I think we need to embrace technology. Embracing technology is very important for um, successful companies. And in addition to the technology embrace, we need to align our strategy to structure and structure to strategy. And as you mentioned before, I'm delighted uh, to announce Paul as the Chief Operations Officer, um, an absolutely um, pivotal and important role to the um, success of the company to ensure we deliver our strategic promises and our promises to our clients in a world-class manner. Over to you, Paul. Thanks, Seb. Um, you mentioned technology there and digitization is an area for us to continue to kind of focus on, really. We already provide fully BIM compliant projects to some of our clients, so um, I think wider use of uh, Excitec docs and Revit sold throughout the company. Um, live data capture within our safety and quality systems um, for safety management on site and improvements there. Um, and switching some of our processes now to more app-based solutions, um, I think so, across all of those digitization pieces. We provide virtual reality to our clients as well, so um, end users um, get the benefit of being able to see completed facilities such an early stage of the design phase, um, which they can get real benefit from. Um, so a little more investment in our kind of augmented reality software as well. In terms of capability, um, we offer full turnkey in-house across all disciplines now. Um, so process services and clean utilities. Um, so standardisation there, I think, will be important and making sure everything's integrated across all those pieces uh, and those disciplines. Um, and more upfront consultancy, I think, is an area where we can provide clients even more value to, 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 uh, to them. Um, so that's an important area for us as well. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Paul. So lots to look forward to. Of course, we've got the anniversary dinner. That's a kind of thank you to the staff, which is in September, isn't it? At the Science and Industry Museum in Manchester. But, but more importantly, from a client's perspective, we think now that we're stronger than before and that the service that we can provide to our customers will be better again. And having enjoyed 20 years of success, we set for further in the future. <laughs>